When you go to the US, almost all restaurants are buying from one single company called Cisco Foods, and they buy pretty much the same stuff. So you go to all these restaurants that have different flavors, but they're all selling you the same things. The US has allowed a huge number of artificial flavors, artificial colorings, uh, and other compounds in foods that are illegal in Europe. So you think you're getting a French fry in the US, but it doesn't have the same ingredients, even say from McDonald's. The list of ingredients is entirely different. In Europe, it's gonna have some kind of oil that's probably not good for you, and it's gonna have some salt and some potatoes. And in the US, there's a huge long list of things, and they do that to drive costs down or to make it more addictive. So the reason is you think you're eating the same food, but you're not. There's a lot more chemicals in American food. On top of that, well, you are surrounded by pesticides and herbicides at much higher levels. The water quality in the US is lower. And what's going on there is you're not actually putting on a pound of fat you're putting on a pound of inflammation. It's hard to put a pound of fat on in one week. You can do it, but it's really hard. So what's going on there is your cells, instead of turning that air and food into electricity and heat, they were turning it into inflammation. And then as soon as you came back here and you cleared the toxins, then you felt better.